that thing challenging the integrity of God's word. I just programmed over your atmosphere, reminding that mountain that nothing stands before his majesty. But when he steps in, nothing will question his power and his authority. It's not just a number to preach a good sermon. It's an atmosphere to welcome you into an order in this kingdom. That we have the king that rules the universe. He cannot run short of money. Never. His supply. His supply never runs dry. I know this and I have peace and I have rest. You need to know God in a time like this. Thank you, Jesus. We give you the glory. Oh, glory to God. We just walked into a new realm. I saw a mighty hand a drawing men up, drawing men up, drawing men up, drawing men up, drawing men up. I told you and I say it again. The only one that will be left out is the one who will observe the wind. If you not observe the wind and observe the world, I can assure you from heaven where I am coming from. I'm sent by God to you that this is your best season. The only one that will be left out in this season is the one who will observe the wind and observe the cloud. No! We have a bigger atmosphere. We have a bigger environment. We have a bigger testimony. We have a bigger, better source. Let no one observe the wind lest you lose out in what Jesus is doing in such a time as this. Let no one observe the wind. I'm not standing here as another preacher. I come to assure you that your God is not, is not, he's not, he's not, he's not a mirage. He's real. Oh yes, he's real. Let no man observe the wind, say yes the Lord. Let no man observe the clouds, say yes the Lord. Let no man observe the trend, say yes the Lord. Keep your eyes fixed on me. For I am able, yes, say yes God, I am able. Let no man observe things and trends. He's alive. now but I can assure you that baby entered and is growing by God but on the day of delivery effort must be made is that correct there must be a pushing from the side of the woman to deliver that which has matured already okay so Peter now said make every effort now that faith you received in verse 1 is complete but in its application you must ask something you are not here are you here okay give me verse 1 again we'll come on to verse what here verse what is what is this verse 5 go to verse 1 you see it now he said we obtain like precious faith through Jesus righteousness we obtained we received we lambanoed right now verse 5 and I said that faith is complete is complete I will always teach you this and I'll, and I will always use this analogy that when you give birth to a little baby if that baby is a girl everything that a woman will need is in that little baby true of us everything is there the hair that will grow long you're not going to buy even though we'll buy these days amen uh -huh. so <laughs> even though we'll buy i will add so but everything it will take for that little girl to become a lady that you will marry is in that little girl so but what do you do by feeding properly you are now developing those organs is that correct? 
So Peter is now saying, even though the light precious faith we received is complete, that faith can heal. That faith can deliver. That faith can change your life. That faith can make you a global phenomenon. That faith you receive has the capacity to change your life and to change your family. But you must make effort to eat the one. Are you angry? Is it too harsh? Okay, forget it. Forget it, forget it. I know you love, forget it. <laughs> they are angry already. It is possible you may be single because you don't greet people. You lack virtue. You lack virtue. If you possess these qualities in its increasing measure, grass will not grow under your feet. Maybe your pocket is empty because you are stingy. Because I tell, 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 let me also talk to you now. You lack the virtue of giving. Are you still with me? Do we close this chapter? I'm saying that when you are unfruitful, we can consult Dr. Peter using 2 Peter chapter 1. We can consult him and say, maybe you lack temperance. Maybe you eat alone. Someone knocks on your door and you hide your indom because you have inflation. It may be the last one you will eat for the next seven days. Someone knock and you hide your bread because bread is now 1,005 for little loaf. Keep hiding. It may be the last one you will eat for the next three months. I'm not cursing you. I am saying that Peter said, don't lack brotherly kindness. Say amen. amen. Are we still together? Amen. Very, 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 very serious. Listen to me. Eh? Bible is a powerful book. It could be a character problem. It could be a love problem. We stand the test of time. When all is said and done, all my treasures will... I came tonight as a preacher to remind you that while we struggle and strive for results, we should not do them to the detriment. But you stole someone's money. But you stood on someone's integrity. You can cheat and make a one and get admission. Only what I have done. How about you going now? You won't sing this one. You won't sing this one now. You won't sing this one. You can sort yourself and make whatever degree. I've graduated. Are you snap? Remember this preacher. Only what I have done for love. We stand the test of time. You won't like this message. Amen. A lot of things we call testimonies in church manipulated, fake. Many of them, God is not there. Not here. We don't do it in the here. Amen. Say amen. amen. How give you the job? Which God? Are you here? Are you here? You lied to someone and the other guy couldn't marry her and then somehow you use lie and absentees in this work who, that a friend can actually orchestrate a breakup with another friend. The way maneuver your way. Grab it, run, get to the once you get at the top, the world will clap. I'm saying my view in church. We were taught those days that while you do things, remember we are going somewhere. That consciousness couldn't let you do some certain things. So I am a preacher. What can I do to make them to blow? Whatever principle, we don't check the means, we check the end. Let me remind you, you did math in school. You were taught in school that sometimes answer may be right, but means can be wrong. Right? So they can mark you bad when you get the answer and do what? and get the means wrong. Mm -hmm. That's how God works. You may arrive at what you call answer, 
But God, I have not come here to question and to make you feel bad. I've come to bring you back. We can win through love. We can rise through love. You can still supposedly blow. Even though I don't believe in that kind of language you say blow. I don't want to know what to call it blow. It's only balloon that blows. We can still rise by doing the right thing. It is possible. We advocate results that pass through patience. When people are around you to help you, am I wasting your time? David will need, remember that his men, I am losing. But why they were going, they brought to him an Egyptian in the field and brought to David. And David gave him what? Bread. And what he, he did eat and made him drink water. Next verse, verse 12. Verse 12, my people now. And they gave me a piece of cake of figs. You don't drink water. You don't eat bread. Now eat cake. Oh. And two lots of, of, of resins. And when he had eaten, his spirit came again to him. For he had eaten no bread, nor drunk any water. Three days and three nights. Shout Amen. You won't get this. And, um, Let's say that you know very well, but a part of that you don't even know at all. You are cracking your brain. How do I go about this part of this subject in this exam tomorrow? So here comes someone who doesn't know that one you know very well. Are you here? You are not here. You are trying to look for how to learn that let me find someone who need one naira take this one naira the proof that love has been added to your faith is that you are carrying pain but you can find a way to alleviate someone's pain around you i'm looking for my children but seeing someone's child let me give the person water and bread who knows, by giving someone's child water and bread, my own kids will be preserved. You see it now? I'm looking for my own children, but someone's child is dying and looks away from some of his shortcomings, you wouldn't understand. This is a heart called the heart of love. Shout amen. Please say amen. The first one, love added to faith, transforms your environment. The tenets, the practices, the beliefs, the principles of this kingdom. Please say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. How can I do this wicked thing to God and to my master? It was the love that this guy had for God. Practices of the kingdom can only be kept when you love say amen it takes love to obey who touched that in me no not me add more pressure not you I'll tell your daddy depending on who your dad is are you with me now if you have a lion in your dad somehow Somehow, when they add pressure, people will collapse. Let me tell you, the season we are into is bringing a lot of pressure. But may God give you the grace to stand as the pressure will rise. Please say again, amen. I hope you know you need as many money as you can have. You are not here. You won't understand what I'm saying now. Because I'm still giving you. Some of, some of you are bringing. Say, I am growing. I am not cursing you. But now you need all the money you can have. As many as. You need as many money as you can get. But let me remind you. Never you at any junction in this season. Come to a point in your life. That the kingdom practices will be sidestepped because you are under pressure. Men and women that will pass through this season, they will see the results of what will happen in these days. If you will keep 
anything keep your integrity are you with me it is you will be regretting food will come woman don't eat your son now food will come son don't eat your son now you watch others eat their son you watch a guy sell his soul to the devil don't let devil oh, the high team have taught you this that devil's extremity is God's opportunity don't forget this that was the darkness and gross darkness covers the people the light is about to break if you don't know prophecy you should know bible that seven years famine will graduate to seven years plenty it has always been like that it cannot get worse than this it will get worse in a few days few months to come but don't 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 panic <laughs> during famine in Gera, he was there during famine in the days of Elimelech he was there the ancient of those who call him he has seen it all today is not the day that famine began and there was famine in the days of Isaac as it was in the days of Abraham which means before Abraham will emerge famine will usher him in before Isaac will emerge he will need a protocol called famine it will take famine to introduce a covenant child take it from me the protocol that ushers Abrahamic seed to their heritage is called famine. Famine must hit Abraham days for God to show I am El Shaddai who cannot look at the atmosphere to lift me up. But you have a calling. You have a calling. Do not take or give me not even a last of your shoe lest you say it. You made Abraham rich. It was a test he must pass. The king of um, Sodom must come with a gift. Take gifts. And Abraham knows the bargain. Don't lure me with your corrupt riches. Take your riches. I prefer to take what I have and give it to a spiritual man by name. Mechizedek. Listen. Don't contaminate yourself in this period. Is God talking to somebody at all? Stay my sister. We will pull through. Stay my brother. We will pull through. Don't compromise. Is it no hunger? It has been there. I go go Jacob. You are not the first one. Not the first one. In the midst of all these things. Joseph will arise. He said to me this morning, I'm baptizing your people in this season with accurate discernment and wisdom to know how to guide themselves in this season. He will not give you money this period. He will tell you what to do in this period. If you're looking for money, you will miss it. I'm speaking by the Holy Ghost now. He said to me today, early hours, say, I will baptize your people with discernment. They will know what to do, where to go, who to meet in a time like this. This is our heritage. Don't look for money. Listen to him. Elijah, sir, go to the brook Cherik. Stay there. For I have commanded the ravens to bring you food every morning. And when the brook dried up, he said, lift up your eyes. Go to a poor widow. Listen, there is only one way God sustains his men. I'm going ahead of my time. But let me obey the Holy Ghost. Only one way he sustains his men in the time of famine is by telling them what to do. Only Isaac, stay in this land. Anytime famine, telling them what to do. So in this period, there are that God be speaking. Listen, anytime you worship, open up your mind. When you are speaking in tongues, open up your heart. Wake up in the night, create a time of Holy Ghost in Tacos. This give me, give me, reduce it. Worship, sing some songs. Sing some song. There's an incense, an atmosphere, create it, and then dwell there. Sing with joy. And suddenly, you will be like in a trance, like in a dream. You see God telling you, by March, do this. By June, you will be there. 
by August will be there. I'm telling you what God said he'll be doing in our life in this house. See, I'll be bringing understanding and high level of intelligence from the Holy One. Say, for that is a God, but that God does not live among men. In the case of Daniel, oh king, what you are looking for is not found in the maker of man. That is a God that does not live, which means that is a wisdom that does not exist in the world of Nigeria. It can be outsourced in the other realm. It does not know gender. It doesn't know age. It's only looking for hungry people. Listen to me. Who is a Yahoo boy? We can outsmart them with divine wisdom. What are they even doing? Trying to hack phone and try to, oh, who is a kidnapper? We can outsmart them by one idea. Habeno kush ali zakara taba. Veni kombe li garata kadaba. Zeni kora bahaya. Jetome kila bahaya. I sense a spirit at work, even in this service. Let's take advantage. Let's take advantage. I perceive, I perceive, I perceive an angel walking to this house right now right now let's take advantage let's take advantage i perceive an atmosphere around this house bringing understanding opening eyes giving directions say i will show them a path i will give them my word I will guide them in a path that they know not. Say as the Lord. For there is a path which no found nowhere. I hear God say, There is a path which no found nowhere. Lions are yet to tread on that path. I will open your eyes. I will open your heart. I will give you understanding. I will guide you. Say yes, the Lord. In the time of famine, the bailout system for God's children is divine leading, discernment, divine wisdom, divine instructions, divine guidance, divine direction. Whatever name you call it, just make sure you receive it. Like a mighty Russian wind. Please upon us, Lord. Every businessman, every entrepreneur, every student. What do you need now? Thus says the Lord, is what you need now. Naira is gone, they said. You need to says the Lord. No dollar. You need to say the Lord. No euro, you need to say the Lord. That's what you need. It's not pound, sir. What do you need? To say the Lord. That's what you need in a time like this. To navigate this rough path, you need one thing. To say the Lord. That's what you need. To navigate this to this season, you need to say the Lord. Not more dollar, not more naira. Inflation will cripple them. You need. Ziza Natarakash. 
in John 19, I will not read. 26. Hanging on the cross. He's knowing you now. Benusata. If you read extra biblical stories about the, the, the story of Enoch, the book of Noah told us, I think I read something about that in online some, time, some years ago, that Noah preached on daily basis for 120 years. God who told somebody something and for 120 years, rain will come. You know what was 120 years? God said, God gave someone a word and somebody stayed on that word for how many years? You are only three years and you are agitating. You are only four years. Can I say this? Should I? When God gives you a word, it will look like a lie for a long time. <laughs> Hear me. When God gives you a word, that word will look like a lie for how, for how, how long? For a long time. It will look like a lie. My son, I will bless you. It will look like a joke for a long time. You will need love to stay. FDM! I will use to, ch to champion a revolution in this kingdom or in this fair or in this region. It will look like a, for 120 years, someone was saying one thing. Prepare! They mocked him. In fact, on the day of the rain, people were doing trad. It's in your Bible. He was saying, what kind of heart is this one? Men through faith. Act to your faith, love. Lord, I love you beyond results. I have come to a point I have believed your word. You say you will do it, I'm staying here. How can someone pray for 75 years? Waiting for a Messiah. The mockery will come, they will stay. It's more than faith. I hope you know, even in this ministry, many began with us and they dropped. Hope you know. Many will still leave you. They will leave your mission. They will believe what to tell them at the first place. Hey, God said we will make it. They will flock around you. One year will look like three years. Three will turn five. I see now your cousin. You don't know them now. They are ashamed. So come you believe and love enough that no matter what I will stay until all the days of my appointed time I will wait till my change will come it will, it will take love you say Lord I am here light or night or day the prayer point help me Lord to love you and cause that in this can you go ahead and pray go ahead and pray go ahead and pray shalabarama li mamra safila kate shekete kete li prakata paha come on come on come on come on can you can you ask him to 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 bring you to a place of